Hey, to all my beauties on a budget, beauties on a budget, beauties on a budget. Yes, I know y'all seen that meal in the beginning. Let me show you how we make it. First of all, this is a meal that you can make for a huge family, at least six to ten people. Secondly, it's on a budget. This meal was under $30, and you're going to get a lot of it. The third thing, I would consider it healthy. Yes, a healthy meal under $30 that can be a large family. Let's get into it. Of course, we have to rinse and rinse and rinse this chicken. Baby, that chicken needed a good rinse. Went in with the vinegar, white vinegar as well to get it extra clean. And let me know down in the comments, what do y'all use to clean y'all chicken? Do y'all use apple cider vinegar? Whatever it is, let me know. So I went in with the water then with the white vinegar. Getting it all clean. Everything you have in a mess. Anywho. With this meal, I'm going to be using all kind of peppers, bell peppers, red, green, yellow, orange, and green. These bell peppers was $2.79. For the mixed kind, you get your red, yellow, and orange in there. And green come in a separate kind of container. And I also have a yellow onion. Y'all see them knives over there. I'd be tempted to use some good old new knives because this baby want to work out slow. But I ain't going to use them, y'all. I'm going to use this one and get it done. So after you have all your vegetables cut up, you start with your chicken. I'm doing big chunks. You could do smaller chunks if you want to. The smaller it is, actually, the quicker it cook i had a little time so i did big old chunks plus i wanted to chew some big meat you know so if you want it smaller come smaller okay after i have all this meat cut up which it was four breasts i'm going in with the season y'all season salt some black pepper garlic salt garlic powder just all the good old seeds and you say oh that's a lot that's not that's not even a lot I mean you need to season this meat good for it can taste good don't be scared to season that meat. And mix it. Mix it up. Mix it up real good. Yes, I'm going in with the margarine. Y'all know the margarine only is about a dollar. It's not that much. Um, You could have used vegetable oil, coconut oil. So you want to go ahead and cut that chicken up? But uh, I big chunks. You can do any little thing, chunks. really. It's but really that's what I had, and that's what I'm using. Really. So big chunks I did for me. Now I'm going to. I place all season, this good old so. chicken in this black pan. pepper. After I had this butter melted down, I really don't want them to sit on top of each other. I want all of them to kind of be flat, so I'm Garlic not going to overcrowd the pan. Cause I want all of them to just really, you know, get a good brown into it. And I get all this meat left over. So I at least need to cook 
two separate. Pants is. Yes, y'all see it's browning on up, it's browning on up. This is um the second batch that I put in. And then I went in straight with the butter, moved it on to the middle. Yes, I kept all those good juices right in there. And I'm going in with my vegetables, with my bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, orange, red, and green. And my onions. You want to season this stuff up with everything you use. Before another thing that would taste good with this is taco season would taste amazing on this chicken. Also, jerk season, I believe jerk sauce, jerk sauce season, it, it would taste good on it too. So, I went ahead and you know, got them vegetables on cooking. Yes, they look good. Put that chicken back in there for all of it can cook together now. Some low carb tortillas. And like I said, everything, you want everything to go in the same pan. You not cleaning out this pan using everything. A one pan trick. A one pan trick. We're going to put this cheese on it. I really want to put cheese on both sides of the tortilla and then fill up the um inside of it with meat. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going ahead and putting cheese on both sides. Filling it up with that good old mixture of meat and vegetables. I'm going to close it up. I'm going to do two at a time. I'm not going to overcrowd the pan. I put that butter on in there. And I'm just going to flip them. And voila. Bam. Yes. That's how it look. It look amazing. You could dip this in sour cream, guacamole, all that good stuff. 